I can't make this shit up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Robert here, YouTube on the budget. Back with another video, man. So uh, I'm here at Winter Shop, Powder Coat Man. And if y'all don't know, Powder, uh, Powder Coat Man, uh, what's his IG? It's Powder Coat Man, Powder Coat Man, CPC. Yeah, Powder Coat Man, CPC on Instagram. I don't know why I could. I knew it's something after Powder Coat Man, but type in Powder Coat Man CPC on Instagram. Powder Man CPC. Powder, why I say Powder Coat? Powder <laughs> Man. I always say Powder Coat Man. Yeah. So the whole thing, the reason why it's confusing because it's C, that CPC part. So it's Powder Man Coat. Yeah, it's basically Powder Man custom powder coating. Okay. But I always say, God, I've been short, saying it wrong the whole freaking time. <laughs> to make it short, it's Powder Man CPC. So, Powder Man CPC. So, y'all got that. So, it means Powder Man, what's CPC? Custom, Custom powder, powder Coated. Coated. Okay. If don't say PCP, because then y'all going to have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. I ain't thinking about that. <laughs> so, um, I'm just up here lollygagging, guys. Um, I want to show you the header. What the header is that? Inside? No, the, the, oh, yeah, the header headers. Inside. Headers. So I want to show y'all the headers real quick. Uh, remember, I got the headers, and then I'm not going to pick them up to. I have to reorder these um, because I don't have. I want to. It's just a long story. But let me show y'all the headers real quick. So this is for the. Um, these are for the single cab and the uh, actual box Chevy. So I think these are for the single cab right here. And then these are for the box Chevy. So Cerakote, I think that's what it's called, Cerakote. So they stay black. Uh, if you missed that video on when he heated it up, can you heat this up right now? It won't change colors? No, uh, it's, it, it's going to end up doing when it gets hot. It's going to end up turning ashy. Like silky. No, it looks ashy now. It'll turn into like a silky black. What, what you mean like silky black? Like uh all right, so remember we ran a test at one time? Yeah. I mean, I'm never taking to do it. You can kind of see like, let's see if you look in here. I don't know if you get it on camera, but you see how like, oh, it'll see start right looking there. more like okay. a silky. So when it gets hotter, it'll get more silky. It'll look more smooth. Okay. Right now, I mean, they're dusty because they've been just sitting in here, but yeah. they just look ashy now, but then they'll turn into like a smooth black. Okay, so, yeah. so but they stay back, so. Yeah, they'll stay black. So it's Sarah. Sarah Co some people say ceramic coating, but it's Cerakote is what it is, the official name. Okay, and then he has black, he has silver, yeah, what, what other colors? Gold, burnt bronze, mostly like, uh, kind of like earth colors. Okay. You don't really get like a lot of bright, you don't get no greens. Or so they can't do white, that's the closest to white right there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that teal. Have, because it's a high temp. Okay. So the high temp, they only have that. But if you want to do like, you know, other parts, you can get like, oranges and stuff kind of like that over there okay like that, you know? but it just get more expensive too as well yeah, so these are the wheels you've done so far are these like spinners yeah those are, yeah so those are actually these were actually uh a set i had and uh i'm giving away was, my was, was it the cadillac so he wanted no oh, okay no they going on his magnum actually okay and then you got some racing rims over yeah. here what color is this called it's called a uh, custom gunmetal and then he does all the inside guys, the inside, all the above, just by the way. Check it out. Yeah, I cannot stand to see the wheels. It's not done all the way, so yeah. cover this off at least, you know. Yeah, because that's what. Sit flat on the hub. So you like. You can actually see, you yeah, know. You can see the actual, um, the, what you call that crap? Like that um, metallic. Floor, yeah, metallic day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does all. Is that the hubs for the uh, spinner yeah, suit? Yeah, for one of them. That's so crazy. Oh, hold on. Is that the back part, too? Yeah, that's the back. So hey. those are actually going over. And like with these, so these aren't perfect because I mean they're, they're pretty good. At least you know the parts gonna show. But they're up. old rims, like super old. They're old, and the problem is they're chrome. Uh, so normally, you know, I doctor up, I can doctor up chrome as much as possible. But so what? What's the process of chrome? Chrome is a lot of handwork. So chrome, you basically have to blast off as much as you can. Chrome doesn't just blast off. A lot of people think it just comes off. It doesn't. It'll flake you can't off. put no paint thinner on there. Or nothing. <laughs> the, the really the only way that you can take chrome off. Take it to a chrome shop. They have to reverse process the way. Oh, uh, so that's a lot of money. It's okay. three layers. It's, it's copper. It's not zinc. It's something else, and then chrome on top. Jeez. Yeah. That's why it costs so much to do. But shoot, they look good to me. I don't know what the hell you talking about. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So while I'm here, guys, um, I'm not here to pick up. I'm waiting. He 
finish the other stuff before I pick this up. Uh, I can pay you for that today, too, though. Uh, if y'all need some Brembo's, these are for sale, by the way, guys. He has another set, too. I think it's red. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to learn how to do a couple of things. Uh, hopefully, he has time. Let's get it. I want to, what, we going to sandblast? Yeah. Well, actually, so we can, let me see. So you can look in here, huh? Okay. Sandblast. Oh, what the hell is this? Man, this is basically uh, the same thing you're gonna sandblast. Yeah. So this guy, this is 800 pounds. What's this for? It's, it goes to the oil field. What you gonna do, black? Yeah. It's going black. It's a stand. I don't know what it holds, but it's a stand and holds something. They figure out if you bring in stuff. Like you leave this open right here? No. Okay. So all this goes down. You know, okay. You gotta keep shop cleaning and stuff like that. Okay. But uh. Yeah, this thing is a monster. Well, I'm not going to do the whole thing because this is going to take <laughs> hours, guys. I'm just going to do like a little line or something. And then you don't have nothing to powder coat, though, right? Yeah, actually, man, I got some, uh, some like, feather inside. Something. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to learn how to powder coat. I'm not going to do a lot. I'll probably do the back where the person can't see it. No, it's fine. Um, like I said, this is actually going to be two layers. So and, what uh, you mean two layers? Is that tech leg hut? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if y'all want to check it out, Tim Tim cut that. You can go check out his page on Instagram. What's, what's this? Tim what's, cut that. Tim cut that. C U T T H A T. Okay. Tim, Tim cut, cut that. that. And, okay. Uh, he actually just did something. Core is the SSG one. Core, he do man. He do some pretty. Cool That's crazy. Okay. Like, so any custom designs, he can do all that. So, so yeah. what what color is this one gonna be? So these are gonna. This is this multi-layer okay. these are going to be red and then uh the other layer is going to be black so and what then, you have to do first so basically these i, I actually blasted yesterday okay yesterday evening, so they actually got sandblasted already and what you see on here this is not like rust or anything like that that's actual coating oh it's from, smooth uh, too yeah it's coating from like the original metal um they actually put that on there to keep them from rusting okay so we blast off everything else and you know that stands that actually helps uh Blow off with an air gun. I always hit up with a torch because the torch makes sure you don't have like any lint okay. and stuff on it. Okay. And then uh, after that, you go straight to coating, coating in the oven. All right, guys, let me go get my tripod, enjoy what we're going to do. And then look, let me tell you the work that he has to do when he does these breaks, man. So look, you see how he has to tape? Look, just look at the perfection in this. Like he has to tape it off. He has to do all that because that's where the movement is. But that's how he does his brimbos and stuff. So, but stay tuned, man. Let me go get my tripod, man. This is crazy. Your boy about to sandblast and powder coat. Oh, let's go. I can take them off the board. That way, some of this black will come up by itself. But these are going to be two-tone. These are going to be two-tone uh, gloss black with uh, forged charcoal on the, uh, the outer part of it. Okay. Royce Royce. They don't sound expensive. They sound cheap as hell. <laughs> man, a lot of people don't know, man. Hey guys, with three piece rims, bro, a lot of people don't know if you like he has some over there, but I think those are side by side. When you have those three piece rims, the center part, so in the three piece rim. You get this golden half, you got that piece, that piece in the center part. With all these companies, all they do is make the center part. All those other pieces, guys, they come from China, bro. Yep. They come from China. So everybody be talking about, oh, that rim trash, that rim trash. That, that barrel is horrible. They all the same. It don't matter what company you buy your rims from. They get it from the exact same company in China. All you buying is really the design in the middle. That's it. It's all you buying, guys. It's all you freaking buying. And a lot of people don't know that. 100% right. Oh, you got another sandblaster. So he has two. He has his big boy over here. He has his small one. This is the oven, and I think that's the sandblasting area right there. Oh, that's the, yeah, so that smaller one, that's the one that uh, actually is in the garage. The garage? The house. Oh, yeah, he did start from home. by. So look, guys. Hard work pays off, man. Hard work pays off. Where are you going with this one at? In here? Alright. So this is going in outgas. Outgas, yeah, just to make sure uh, 
whenever we do the final code, we don't have any bubbles popping down and stuff. So okay. Anything that's trapped in your metal is going to come out. So how long do you do that? Uh, these, they don't take long, but around an hour. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Some stuff is like an hour and a half, but that's the only way I don't have to do that. Ooh, this shit hot. Yeah. God. It is. I mean, freezing. Uh, right now, it's around like 1.30. Ooh, this is hot. It is cold outside today, too. What you want to start with so first? See, we can do uh, we can spray cup. first. Okay. That way. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm over here shaking this shit. Nah, you can. <laughs> Damn, I don't know why I'm nervous, guys. God, I'm nervous in the world. Am I gonna get dirty? I get it. Okay. So what I'm thinking about, if you, if this was all red and this is supposed to be black, yeah, yeah. you would do black first, right? Yeah. You'll do I'll black and then you'll do red around and here red, and, and then, then you will just wipe off. Yep. Like, I'll wipe some, whatever. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking yeah. about. Because I, I remember you were saying that last time. Yeah, so like those wheels that you put up, that's how uh, I like Okay. Yeah. I got you. So, what, so you put this whole thing in a rack? I'll, I'll take one off at a time. Okay. Okay. I try to keep the rack. 
<laughs> so which one we start with first? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So we gotta do the most important part. Yeah, we're gonna load it up. So not that much left in this bag, but go ahead and shake it up, get it real loose. Okay. It's a little tube, it just sucks it up. Yeah, it sucks it up. And what's cool about this one, so it's a, it's called a box feed. Uh-huh. It's a demo box feed, and uh, man, it'll almost, I could probably suck something out the top of a, you know, out of, out of a bottle cap. Okay. And it'll suck all the way down there. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. So do you have to clean this every day? I clean it after every color I gotta go through. So what you clean it with? Oh, uh, just air. Oh, just air, okay. Blow it out, yeah. Okay. That's crazy, man. Y'all, yeah, yeah. boy, you two in the front of my powder coat. <laughs> what about boy, powder, man, not powder coat, man. Powder, man, CPC. Nice. What you say, not CPPC or? CPC. No, well, no, no, you said not powder. Oh, don't say PCP. Yeah, not PCP, guys, not PCP. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't get demonetized by that. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, these are, I actually got my own personal safety. Okay. So, how long does it, does it have to warm up? No, or? no, it's good to go. So, the only thing that's left, I got to attach air to the bowl. And it changed colors a little bit. Well, what it is, it's like that condensation on it. Really. Oh, okay. So, we're just torching it. I come around that side. Oh, you good. And not everybody do this, but for me, it's, it's just, if it, it's, if it works for you, it works for you at the end of the day. Yeah. Because this way I can make sure, like, you know, whenever it's the finished product, you don't have, like, lint with, or little pieces of whatever sticking off. Okay. So, okay. I get, I, got, I get it. I get it. Like, if it is something on it, you'll see it burn. You'll see it light up. Like, oh. Light up. I like the like the like lint and all that yeah. stuff. And like this stuff I got on my shirt, y'all see that's from my sweater. Yeah. And it'll just jump like right off of the uh, right off the front. So which one you doing first? Uh, Let's do an easy one because I know I messed up. Okay, and that's going red too. All of it. Yeah. All of it. What is this supposed to be? A, a chicken? Oh, it's, it's all lens. Yeah. I'm tripping, bro. Okay, I'm like, what the hell is that supposed to be? A fish? It's a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. So the, like, if you see the front of it over there, it actually makes sense. So he has different ones. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that is hard. All off the turkey leg. Ooh, that shit is sick. Hey, what's his name on Instagram? Uh, Tim Cut That. Tim, Tim Cut That. Hey, man, you gotta holler at your boy, bro. Yeah. You gotta give me a YTOB one for my F-150, man. <laughs> no, he definitely I ain't trying to pay for shit, though. Anything you can <laughs> make, he can make it. Hey, I pay for the powder coat. <laughs> yeah, just hook, hook me up, bro. I know this shit costs a lot of money. Hook your nigga up, bro. Help it. Well, I can't say that on it. Oh, I got to beat that out, bro. Beat that out. You know, they tripping right now. I'm starting back doing YouTube now, man. I'm, I'm trying to get back in the groove with things. 2023, I'm over here pushing your, your butt. I can't say the other word. I'm, I'm over here pushing you, and I ain't pushing myself, man. But, hey, we go. 2023, bro, we coming, bro. 2023, we coming, man. So we're going to do this. Other and that, and that's, but that's crazy though, ain't yeah, it? I don't know what it is. That's crazy. So we're gonna do this one first. Yeah, we're gonna do this one first. So basically, gonna hang up. And I'm actually waiting on my hooks. Why? You, I thought you make your own hooks. You know what? My hooks are here. What hooks? I think these came in last night. They in this box. Oh shit! Hello, we get some exclusive. Oh, uh, hey guys, these Brembo's up here is for sale too. By the way, if you want to get them the color, whatever color you want, yep. just holler at him. Of course, you gotta pay for the color, but. It's a hey, question. If they buy the Brindle, Brimbos, is the powder coat free? Depending on the color. <laughs> uh, Hell no. Nah. Discount, but they definitely not gonna be free. Yeah, because the powder is. Oh so yeah. Not, so I I learned my lesson with that with my scat pack. 
with Oscar. No offense to Oscar, uh, but don't rush the Brembos, bro. My shit was leaking. Uh, you didn't get your hooks? But what is it? Is this powder coat? Yeah. Oh, this is powder. Just so this is... Uh, black. Yeah, it's Traffic a round black. color. It's a special color. And uh, this is what's going on that big piece that's in the sand blast. Okay. And then look, guys. This is how it looks when he sand blasts this raw. Yeah. The raw. And then I showed y'all over there how he tapes it off and all that stuff. But hey... Um, he can give you a little discount though. Hey, just come holla at him. You want some Brembos on your little V6 or your scat pack? And then we can hook up Mod Effects. Mod Effects can install it for you. So, all right. So we finna do this. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And it's really just nothing to it. Like it's one of the things that once you do it, you're like, oh, this ain't bad. I'm nervous. All right. All right. So you see. It. Uh, but basically, I'm nervous, dog. Look, that's it? That no, far? No, you know, you can but I'm, just, I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. But uh, so the concept of the powder is basically, I don't even know the word, uh, right word. It's electrolysis. I don't know if that's the right word. The powder comes through. It's passing. It has like a little electrode right there that uh, gives it like a positive charge as the powder passes through. So it's positively charged powder flying in the air and it's trying to find the ground. Oh. It's trying to find the ground. So with this. So is this science? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm excited, I like science. So <laughs> this is, uh, this whole boot and everything is grounded. I actually have like a rod like, right outside. So when he means grounded, ground. guys, positive and negative, yeah. meaning grounded yeah. negative. That's what he means. And there's actually, a, uh, there's a line that runs outside and I have an eight foot rod in the ground. That's grounding this whole thing. Okay, that's crazy. So that's why the powder, whenever you see it, it wants to stick to something. All right. You know? All right. So, any techniques? Is it like paint? You got to flick your wrist? No, but what I, one thing that I found like that kind of helps is... Uh, do I the back, I do the... No. Do the back, I do the front. Okay. But I want them to see how it really... You usually want to start in the hardest places first. So that's the inside. So the hardest place is going to be in here. So you do get the inside of right here too? I try to do everything. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, I try to do everything. That way, you know, we prevent from rusting later on. Just to give a good coat. <laughs> I don't know if you need it. Oh, you don't need it? No, nah, I had this. I was a pistol. Okay. But, uh, so yeah. So the thing, if you're too close, it's going to push it off. Because okay. it's like, it's called Faraday. And that area, it's like, it's too charged. And that's wasting powder. Though. Yeah. Okay. Because it's just going to fall off and blow off. Okay. And so, the objective is not to let it just blow off. Yeah. And then, uh, why doesn't it fall to the ground? Because, so this booth behind here is like a, a foot and a half to the space. This is, I have double filters in here. There's these big filter pockets that stop. So you have this first one, this is supposed to stop powder. If it gets past this, it has another big deep pocket. Yeah, like if you touch it Oh, okay. It just sucks it in. I got you. But there's like some pockets behind here. And then, uh, you go past that, that top, there's that other post filter. If anything ever makes it that far, it'll stop it from coming back into the shop. Okay, so gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, he gonna do he gonna do the back. I wanna do the front. So with me, I kind of sometimes just give it like you know you give it a little shape, and I found like I guess maybe it like helps like the little ions or the particles like lay on top of each other a little better. So that's it. You don't have no more layers, man. It's really that. But what about the here? You alright, guys? Yeah, it's pretty much done. Yeah, it's easy. It is. And it's not hard. Like I said. It, it, it seems like you're not using a lot, but it looks like a lot. Okay. Yeah. And it's not, but it's not like, we probably use, you know, that much powder on that. And like I said, right now. How many ounces? Not even ounce? Man, maybe one. Maybe okay. one, one and a half. So two pounds can take you a long way. It can if you spray it right. And you can waste it. I can turn this gun up and just start dumping powder. You know? Okay. But it's like, like I said, a good man, this is a $7,000 gun. So. With a good gun. Let me get over here. Let me get over here. All right, guys. It's your boy turn. So, I said nothing to me. I like to start from the, well, I'm going to say the bottom. Wherever the hook is, I like to start further distance away from it. And then just kind of go over. So, so, it's like a little gun. Yeah. Literally, just How far should I get it? Uh, about right here. About somewhere here. I think I go like this. Yeah. However you want, Just get the You can't mess up. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Uh, <laughs> like, is this good right here? Yeah, you good. 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 Good.
if you do it like that and then try to do it more like up and down. So pretty much anybody else. Yeah. That way you just kind of What about him right there? Just kind of in here right there. Back up a little bit. Kind of back up. Back up a little bit. Get a lay in. Like I said, remember to get you close. Get a little bit. Get a little bit. All right. We nearly got it. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right. So we're going to put another one up. So if you want to double check it, let me see. Oh, it's good. No, it's good. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. So if you want to I think my side better than your side. Oh, you can see the brutality. Yeah, you'll be able to see a lot oh, better. Okay. And I'm actually going to put more light in here, man. Oh, it's good. It's just a flashlight that you keep on the counter. That is crazy. So now, it won't fall off if I pick it up, right? So, pick that up and we'll move it. Let me move this camera over here. We get another view. This would be all you. All right, so I'll do the back and I'll start in the middle. Yeah, so normally I say stick in the air and then kind of spray. And then just kind of start pulling out. So yeah, just, you can hold it. Well, so it's not going to Just spray regular? Yeah. It's like spray it. I don't know why, man. <laughs> go ahead, go all the way. Alright. Start spraying. It's not going to do anything. Just pull it. Yeah, obviously. Alright, so spray and pull. Yeah. Spray and pull and just start pulling out. And then just kind of like spray at the end. And then you go. It starts at the bottom. Yeah, you start with the bottom. Whatever you like. I don't know. I'm just nervous. You just want to coat the whole thing. So whatever it feels good to you. Like I said, I got my own techniques, but everybody does it different. Hey, I did all this shit already. Yeah, it, it covers. So that's the thing, too. When I tell people, like, when they want to do two tones, they say, oh, I just want to do this spot. It's not, I can just do this spot. Pretty good. Go ahead and put, put it on your more. So, so Tyler, you just want to put it thick enough, though. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. That's good. And see, with the other hooks that I was waiting on, I would be able to uh, spin it around without picking it up. Okay. So am I going, am I feathering too fast? No, you're doing fine. And that's the, thing, that's the thing, like a lot of people, they don't understand, it's good to keep moving. That way you don't get like a high build up in one spot. That's done, dude. All right, that's it. That's it. You got it. All right. I'm nervous as hell. But look, guys. Look, it's easier than what I thought, but this ain't the hard part. You want all this, this, uh, the detail? Oh, hold on. I'm going to plug down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just put it up top. The hook right there. Like yeah, this. yeah, like that. This ain't the, this is easy, of course, but it, it goes way more detailed as if you want something more detailed and more nice. But this is like... Uh, yeah, you can just put it that way. So you go to this one. You can do this, so I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna get a close-up with you doing this one. All right. Hey, that is crazy, bro. Yeah, this, man, it's different. Hey, this is crazy. Oh, so you can't, they can't touch. What happens if it touches? If it touches, then the powder gonna come off wherever they touch, you know, it's just like touching. Oh, when you paint. wipe it off and all yeah. that stuff, okay. It's like touching wet paint. So, uh, so we're gonna look at his technique. Y'all don't steal it, by the way. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Hey, so you cover yours way easier than mine, too. Let's see, get around, just around that corner real quick. You know? Okay. So what's the things you learned about powder coat in the years you've been doing it? Man, pay attention. Like I said, okay. the, uh, some colors work well together, some don't. Okay. Uh, it's a different, like some powders are lighter than, light, than others, and uh, just the way they apply is different, man. Okay. So it's like a lot of candy colors, the reason why, like, say, some, you know. Oh, that shit look hard, just like that. Look at this. Look. All, right. All right, back to business, guys. So just think about it. You can do effects like that. Say, like, if, uh, say, like, if it was already one color, like, say if it was black, and then when it sprayed the red from the back and wanted to leave it like that, you can put it in and make it, and you would kind of get that same. You know, feel of it. So it would look like almost like a, a horror. Yeah. You know? That look, it looks hard, though. All right, let's keep going. 
Yeah. All right, after this, so after this, do you go, what you gotta do after this? It goes in the oven after this. Okay. So do you put it in a small oven? Oh uh, yeah, this is one small oven. Okay. So the thing about different colors, like, you can't really, uh, So yeah, the thing about uh, you can't really put different colors in the oven at one time. Okay, why? It have to be one color. So why? Because like little grains of particles, yeah. they'll end up flying. Okay. Yeah. They I got guess. fans on the oven, and it doesn't move a lot of air, but it does move some. So uh, if you do that, I'm mad about doing two things at once. Yeah. So hey guys, we're gonna take a break. Uh, we're gonna come to sandblasting next. Yeah. Oh yeah. On the other side too. We're gonna come to sandblasting next, but right now, your boy is powder coat. No! Your boy is powder coat. Shout out to Lynn. Uh, Techie you love her, man. Make sure you follow my boy Powder Man. CPC. C -P -C. I about to say PCP. CPC on Instagram, and I have it at the bottom here, and I have his all his information at the bottom, man. So. If y'all need some stuff done, man, remember, he got the orange brim bros for sale. If you want to come get these red ones, he'll hook you up on the price with the color. But it ain't going to be no big, big discount. But, hey, you can have some brim bros on your stuff, man. And you can not put brim bros on V6s just by, the, for example, just hit, hit, hit up Mod Effects. They'll hook you up. But other than that, man, hey, I will be back. We're going to be in this big old thing next. So see you in a second. Putting this in here. I lied, guys. We're going to put it in the oven. So you, you cut these on when you get here in the morning? I only turn them on when I get here if I know I'm going to be already, you know, that way I don't waste the time. Okay. Uh, and it, it feels good. This one feels good. Jeez. Yeah, this one is only around. Did you make this rack too? I'm, yeah, I'm That's it. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to do a little bit on this. It's not going to be too much because it's so much I can show you because you can't really see in there. Um, it's really, man, it, I'll, probably, I'll probably not even gonna record this. Uh, you can probably, probably see it, it'll probably be a little bit louder because what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on the compressor, which is like this big 185 CFM tow behind compressor. We're gonna uh -huh. turn this on and we're gonna turn on the, uh, the actual, uh, just the whole system of it. Okay, it's, so it's loud. Let me turn it right now, you see. <laughs> so this is pretty good. What's that thing over there? Hold this on. Spray gun, you know? Is that air? What's that? This one. So this is what you're sandblasting with. So oh. So like, check it out. So you're going to push with the foot pedal. And all it's going to do is just start cleaning up. So this is giving us some clean surfaces, like, you know, what you want when you're coating. Okay. If you got any rust, it's going to take all that off. That's okay. all it is. Okay. Let me try that. Easy. Let me try that. Yes, sir. Your boy about to say a blast on y'all right here. Oh, shit. So, do I need to get the gutter spray? Oh, no. I just had it. I was just showing you what it was. I just always use that before I take parts out just to clean them. All right. So, all the dust stays inside. Oh, shit. Oh, this thing powerful. <laughs> This one's so hard to get off right here. Uh, let's see which part it is. It's like, you see it? It's oh, like, yeah, so that's like the same part, kind of like I was talking about with the other ones. 
it's like a protective coating that's actually on the metal already. Okay. So look, that's that's not really you don't have to really combat that part. Look, watch this. Well, just watch this. And this then right here. See, this was easy to get off. Uh huh. Right, but why is this so hard to get off? So if you really want to, uh, just try to hit it at an angle. So think about like 45 degrees. Oh. Okay. It's like the it's kind of like the angle that you want to hit whenever you're trying to sandblast okay. something. I'm done. <laughs> it's like it, it's cutting. It's crazy though because it seems like it's powerful because when you don't hold the uh hit Yeah, it'll like fly off. When you can't get uh yeah, it'll fly off. Yeah. Uh, little holes. That's crazy though. So how much pressure if, if I had my head there, would it flash my skin off? If you did it with the glove on it won't. If you did it without, yeah, it'll definitely. Yeah. Like to the to the what? To the core? Yeah, it'll rip a couple layers off. Dang. Yeah, because I've actually in uh in that other one, the smaller one, I've had it before where I had a hole in my glove and I was glassing something and it just kind of ate right through. Damn. All right, guys. So that's the video of the day, man. So huge shout out to my boy Powder Man CPC on Instagram. <laughs> hey, I have all his information in the link in the description and in the comments. If you want to get anything powder coated, man, y'all see I come here all the freaking time. Uh, me and him is not like business partners, not business partners, but I'm not like a customer. I'm like, shit, damn, they're like a family friend. Yeah. I'm always coming over here messing. I even call him messing with him sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, look, keep my spirits up, man. And, and then I stay on his butt too, I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> but Happy New Year's, man. I appreciate it. And he just appreciate let it. me, he welcomed me to his uh, establishment. I just wanted to learn how to powder coat because I never understood how it worked. He been explaining it to me, but I'm like, uh. Yeah, it sounds crazy like to try to explain some of the stuff, but once you see it, it's a little bit better. Like I said, y'all can either, y'all can check out my YouTube channel, I had oh, like a bunch of stuff there you that, go. I have that in the link in the description and the comments. CPC, same thing across the board. So you can check out my YouTube if you actually want to see like how to. I did a couple of different things, uh, two tones and everything. Okay. Uh, when I was in the garage. So y'all can check on there and see. And then uh, check back here because I'm pretty sure we'll do some more stuff. We'll do some, we'll do some two tone and some more gravity type stuff next time. You know what I mean? But yeah, hey, yeah. How, hold on, quick question before we go. Huh? How often do you gotta change those filters? I think I asked that like 20 times. Man, I used to change them out every week, and honestly, it just became too much. It's so now I change them out every two to three weeks. But is it necessary to change them out that much? It's not, but at the same time, what I try to do is keep it uh, from building up hotter here so it doesn't get up there. Okay. And we're gonna change these out. It did, it don't get dirty up here. Yeah, because it gets expensive. Like, even just changing these filters here, these filters are like $130 a piece. But how many is in one little bracket? It's four, four up there, and then these right here is four of them. And then behind that, it's I have another 12. 12. And those are, you know, another couple yeah. hundred dollars. So it's like, yeah. yeah. All right, man, this is part of fun. I see why you charge so much now. <laughs> but other than that, man, that's going to be in the video. In my own lane, doing my own thing with my boy Powder Man CPC on Instagram. Huge shout out to him. Your boy learned how to freaking powder coat in 2023. But yeah, man, other than that, man, it's in the video. Peace. Peace. In my own lane, doing my own thing. I'm reading the video. That's all, folks.